when they finally left Independence Hall and the doors flung open, and a woman asked Benjamin Franklin famously, what kind of a government have you given us, sir? And he said, a republic, madam, if we can keep it. We're leading to a point where we're turning away from the ideals of the founders of our country and turning to social Marxism. Critical race theory is a kind of snake oil. So what's a snake oil? It's a fake medicine that you sell to somebody. You tell them they're sick, right? So you tell everybody society's racist and you sell them a medicine that doesn't make them better, it makes them sicker. And it takes away the American dream. It says that the American dream is not yours. It doesn't belong to you. It may not even exist. Critical race theory is a worldview. It's a religion, in my opinion. It's to teach children why another race is superior to them or traditionally has been superior to them and why we should not like that particular race. Everything that Dr. King fought for and those before him was equality, not reverse racism. CRT is going to argue the other way, judge a person by the color of their skin based on if they belong to the oppressed race or the oppressor race. Marxism took a gigantic turn at the end of the 1960s. Capitalism works. Marx was wrong, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna move into identity politics. They don't like to use the word critical race theory. They use other words like equity, diversity, inclusion, culturally responsive training, but it is teaching children to put them in buckets just by the basis of their skin color. Civil Rights Act, Title VI. This stuff is already illegal and unconstitutional federally. We can't be doing it here. Why they want to divide people? Because they want to control people. When people are divided, it's much easier to control. This is an overt attempt to replace you as the primary teacher of what's right and wrong. If you don't stand up and do something and teach your kids, and empower them to recognize right and wrong, we will lose them, and with them, the nation. I think too many people criticize a country that provides them so many freedoms and so many liberties instead of realizing how blessed they are. All it takes is being able to see what it is, realize that it's important and that you do have to show up and fight. You can't sit it out and wait for it to blow over. It won't blow over. Critical race theory played a major role in this election. We flipped all three seats with Yunkin, Winsome, and Jace Maras. Uh, every parent that stood at that school board or got involved in Loudoun County, Virginia, we were fighting against critical race theory, the sexualized books, uh, the, the Marxist ideology. I'm very optimistic that the legislature has the appetite to take this issue up and to do what's right for Utah children.